Hello and welcome to another Beauty Box unboxing now today. It's a one-off box from Court Beauty but unfortunately it's sold out. It sold out very quickly this one did and I didn't even get the chance to put a post up on Instagram or um, YouTube because I was working the early part of the week. I hate it when the boxes come out Monday to Wednesday because those are the days I work and my head's just switched on to work. As soon as the end of Wednesday comes, it switches on to beauty. But until that point, I can't do both. I'm not very good at multitasking these days. Anyway, this is the Effortless Makeup Edit March 2023. It was £37, the content's worth over 135 I thought I would still do the video because they have got some interesting products in here and it's makeup, which is always my favourite, so I thought I'd do the video anyway. Okay, on to the first product, which is one that I haven't had for a while and I did get quite a lot of it. When I first started getting beauty boxes, I think partly because I did get a lot of advent calendars the first year and this is the sort of thing that you'd find in it in those um, boxes all the time. It's by Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Magic Cream. It's 7 mil pot, 30 mils is £52, so this is probably still worth around 12 to £13. Charlotte Tilbury says it's the first product she ever created. She worked with world-leading laboratories and expert skin scientists to formulate a moisturiser to turn around the appearance of models' tired, dull-looking skin backstage. And now one pot is sold every two minutes around the world. There's lots of ingredients, including an interesting one, Iron Nymph Peptide, a miracle peptide blend that helps to condition for smoother, plumper looking skin. Vitamin C and E, which work in tandem to brighten the look of your complexion and even the appearance of the skin tone, helping to transform the look of tired, dull looking skin. And then there's other ingredients too, like rose hip oil, hyaluronic acid, shea butter, camellia oil, aloe vera, and there's Fangi Pani flower extract, which along with moisturising benefits, provides a delicate, calming fragrance. So I'll show you what it looks like. I mean, it is a little mini pot, but it is a cute pot. I do like it. it's got finger marks on it already. That's the only trouble with these shiny ones, isn't it? Um, this is what it looks like inside. So there's not a lot of product in there. And I'll show you what it looks like on the back of my hand. So it does give a lovely sheen to the skin. And it's the sort of one that I would probably wear if I was having a non-makeup day, just to give that little bit of extra bright, brighten up your face, which I guess is what it was for in the first place. There you go. Can you see that lovely sheen? It has got a smell. It makes me want to sneeze. It's quite floral. It really gets up your nostrils and makes you want to have a little bit of a sneeze. Um, but it's not unpleasant, it's just a bit polleny. Anyway, I have got it on under my makeup today. It's, I've got it on all over, but on this side of the face, I've got another product on top of it, which is the next product in here. And it is by Dr. Barbara Sturm, and it's the Glow Drops. So this is three mils and Colt Beauty sells 10 mils, 45 pounds. So this is worth at least 13 or 14 pounds. And the brand says this product revitalizes tired, dull skin and restores radiance. So very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one, leaving you with a natural, healthy sturm, hashtag sturm glow whenever you need it. Gain some interesting ingredients in this one, including Polygonum bistorta root, which is a potent anti-aging ingredient which optimizes skin tone, while wild rose extract refines pores, giving the complexion a more even appearance. Purslane, whose chemistry boasts high vitamin levels and omega-3 fatty acids, reduces the visible signs of irritation. And Dr. Stern's proprietary blended formulation of low and high-weighted hyaluronic acid molecules binds moisture and replenishes internal molecular levels, providing a hydrating and plumping effect while also supporting the skin's natural barrier function. Gosh, that was a long one. Optical pigments provide an instant shimmer to the skin. So again, it's only a small size, this one. Still quite pricey for the size. It's like in a little 
container with a pipette. And you place one pipette length into the palm of your hand, apply it over the face, eye area and neck, gently patting it in. Apply it after your moisturiser for a lit from within glow over makeup or combine with your preferred, preferred skincare product. So in some ways, it was a bit unfair to use two products that are very similar, but that's why I did it on just one half of my face. To sort of get the product in, I found you had to really squeeze hard on that little pipette thing at the top. I don't know what it's called. Um, so I did put it on top of the Charlotte Tilbury, but let's put a little bit separate as well. So that's what it looks like. And you blend it in. Doesn't really make much difference there, does it? See what it looks like here. Well, I think it's made a difference there. So using two very similar products is a little bit difficult to test out. In daylight without makeup on, I actually preferred the side with just the Charlotte Tilbury. Felt that looked more moisturized, more moisturized, sort of, I don't know whether the word would be dewy, as some people say, you know, that sort of moisturized look to it um whereas this side it looked okay but i preferred the charlotte tilbury now now under makeup with this electric quite bright light shining on me i think i actually prefer this side now i have got highlighter on as well here but i think because i've got this all over my face i can definitely tell the difference on this side looks different to me i don't know what you think but i really do think it does so that's quite interesting to note um yeah i quite like this i think i'll use them both separately though because it seems silly to use them both at the same time when they do do a fairly similar job okay the next product is by benefit and it's the fluff up brow wax this is three mils it's a mini size you can get it for 13 pounds 50 from the brand's website and they say this is a clear crunch free and creamy flex wax that creates fluffy full and natural looking brows how the fluff does it work and that's what they say not me the specially developed bristle brush it's the sort of thing i would say to be fair the specially developed bristle brush evenly deposits a thin layer of lightweight wax throughout brows. The formula is buildable with reworkable hold for versatile shaping before drying down clear with a natural matte finish. The end look fluffy feathered and texturized brows that last 12 hours. And the ingredients include jojoba seed oil, shea butter and argan oil. To use it, you brush it through your brows using upward strokes to fluff up and texturize. To pump up the fluff, gently comb brow hair against direction of natural growth, then brush brows into desired shape. So I probably don't use it the way they suggest because I just always do my brows exactly the same way. If I'm using a kind of a wax like this, I'll put a crayon on first, which I did, which was my iconic London crayon, and then just put this on top, sort of brush up, but then brush out again. And they always look exactly the same, I think, whatever I do to them. Um, the packaging is the usual sort of benefit brow kind of packaging, which I really rather like. And this is what the brush looks like. Quite a long one, isn't it? Some of them are quite short, but then that might just be the mini, mini versions that I get. And I'm not sure I've actually had this exact one before. It did seem quite different. You could see the wax when you put it through the brows and it definitely needed to be combed in. But I did quite like using it and I do occasionally use these products when I decide to use my crayon. So it's one I will be keeping. Okay, the next item is by Nude Stick. Now, we've had a fair few of these recently, but luckily, this is a different colour. So, this is the L Magnetic Luminous Eye Colour, 2.5 grams. The shade is Nudity. Cult Beauty sells a 2.8 gram version for £20, but that does come in a tin with a pencil sharpener. So, I'm not entirely sure of the valuation on this actual product. Court Beauty says, for those weary of lugging around a bulging makeup bag, we're delighted to introduce Nude Stick streamlined, hardworking crayons that mean you can kiss goodbye to a cripplingly heavy handbag and liberate yourself from the hassle of cracked powder palettes that decorate the lining of your favourite purse. Now, I've had that in the past, I must admit. 
Um, and they say it's basically there's a various amount of shades and um, in this product with pigment to deliver rich, long lasting payoff that can be blended with your fingertips for an instant makeup and go elegance. <clears throat> My throat's going again. Um, so I was actually very pleased to get this one because it is a slightly different colour to the one that I've had before. So we've had this one, which is the um, Dewop shade twice now, I think, in Look Fantastic edits. This is a very light sort of goldy colour. If I show you on my arm. So that's the one that I've had before. And this one... Okay, it's not massively, massively different, but there is a difference. And I quite like um, to do my eyes using lots of different shades and sort of blending them all together. So this is the new one, the, the slightly darker one. I think you can see them together there. So I've got them both on today. Started with Dewop um, pretty much all over. My normal highlighter in the corner, then sort of Dewop comes out there. And then this new one nudity can't see which one it is now i think it's this one this that i actually put in the middle because it was a nice sort of coppery shimmery looking one and then i've got a couple of other crayons that i used to out, out to the corner and a shadow as well i sometimes finish off with a shadow when i'm using crayons so yeah i quite like the way it looks and i am very tempted to get a slightly darker shade partly so i can get the little tin box and the pencil sharpener but i think it would be nice to have a range of them all the way along my eye i'd love to see what that looked like so i was happy to get that one actually now the next item is by huda beauty and it's glowish cheeky blush so this is in shade Safi saffron it's a full size and it's got an rrp of 19 pounds the brand says a velvety blush with a marbled formula developed to give all skin tones a beautifully natural fresh flesh Fresh face flush, gosh, try saying that. Fresh face flush, fast, you can't, of colour and a soft focus glow. Infused with antioxidants and skin loving ingredients like Damascus rose oil, red bell pepper extract, plant derived squalene, shea butter, and vitamin E. This non powdery skin blurring blush gives your cheeks a silky wash of colour that's super buildable. And they describe this shade as a mid toned rosy coral. So I have actually had one of these before, but in a different shade. I think it was in the Glossy Box Valentine's edit. Um, so this is what it looks like. Now, there is a little mirror in the top. I haven't taken the plasticky bit off, though, so it won't shine too much at you. But that's what it looks like. So you can see the marbling effect in it, which I quite like, actually. So I thought this might be a little bit on the dark side for me. Let's put it on my arm. But in actual fact, it's a really nice sort of colour. So they describe it as a mid-toned rosy coral. And I have got it on today. So I did use it round about here with a brush um, because it is, it is kind of powdery. And just brushed it in and blended it in it's not blending very well on my arm it did blend very well on my face so but i did use a brush so i'm quite pleased with that it's a similar product to one i've already got but different shades and i do like collecting makeup so i like getting different shades in the same thing and i think i will use that one you know it's the one the sort of colors that i'm going to be using more in the summertime when hopefully i've got a bit more of a tan even if it's like fake tan products i'll probably make my face look a little bit more tanned then okay the next item is by westman atelier and it's the petite lit up highlight stick in the shade brulee this is 2.5 grams. You can get a 5 gram version for £44. So I guess this is worth around, well, at least £22. The brand says this clean, translucent gel highlighter. Gosh, I really can't talk now. Clean, translucent gel highlighter. Imparts skin with facial fresh, radiant clarity, flattering, light catching undertones, and skin firming ingredients leave a dewy, glassy, and unforgettable finish. A quick and hydrating way to perk up dull skin 
dab across cheeks, bridge of nose, cupid's bow, lips and lids. And this shade is described as a classy bronze gold. Again, there's lots of interesting ingredients in this. There's lots of ingredients in everything these days, isn't there? Ayurvedic oil blend soothes cushions and supports skin's moisture barrier. Vitis Vita grape extract helps to detoxify skin cells and boost collagen production, promotes production of hyaluronic acid while improving hydration and firmness. So there you go, ingredients in everything. Okay, <clears throat> let's have a quick look at it because it is rather lovely and beautiful and luxury looking packaging hopefully it won't sort of get in the lights can you see that beautiful gold packaging and then it just the lid comes off like that and there's the product now they did have i think they had about four shades in the full size on um the brand's website or cult beauty one of them and this was the darkest shade that they did have so i'm going to just show you what it's like because i have got it on today i was a little bit worried that it wouldn't suit my skin because it is quite dark so this is what it's like on my arm when you actually put it on your skin here and blend it out it just goes into a really sort of light shimmer shine it's a really lovely product to use and i did literally just sort of draw it on with this i don't normally do that with highlighters um but i did and then brushed it well did dubbed it with my fingers a bit first and then brushed it through as well and i really like it i think it has left a gorgeous highlight very very happy surprisingly happy with that one okay the next item is by Ico and it's the Limitless Mascara in Black. It's 8ml and it's £19 on the brand's website. <clears throat> and they say, I'm going to have to pause for a drink, I'm afraid. I'll be back in a second. Sorry about that. I can feel my throat's going to go at any second now. So this is by Ico. <clears throat> it's the Limitless Mascara in Black. 8 mil, 90 pounds on the brand's website. I think I just said that already, so sorry about that. They say, add infinite weightless length to your lashes with this mascara, enriched with 80% natural origin ingredients. It gives weightless extension for a barely there feel whilst caring for sensitive lashes, including oat-derived fibres for length, acai, or acai, I can't say that one. I've just recently worked, worked, learned how to say that as well. It's the ACAI one, which I keep getting wrong. I think it's acai, but if anyone knows how to say it, please tell me. Oil for nourishment. This is the ideal mascara for those with sensitive eyes and contact lens wearers. So I have got this on today. It's actually really nice. And do you know what? I wasn't expecting it to be, and I'm not sure why. I'm sure I must have had this before. I think I've had every single eye code product that's ever been anywhere because there was a lot of them about when I first started getting beauty products. But I don't know whether I have had this one because it is really, really nice. And I think if I had had it, I would remember it. First of all, I love the brush. It is a really nice brush for getting right into the corner and right to, to the base of the lash and i did enjoy using it it was one that was for me separates your lashes love that about um any mascara and it did seem to lengthen it slightly as well which was really good so i've got it on today and i really like it i think this is the one i'm going to be using what I tend to do is I get the um, mascaras and the ones I really, really love, I start using and don't stop using them until they've gone a bit sort of past their best. So that's the one I think I'm going to be using from now on for a while. OK, the next item, the final product in here is by Tower 28 Beauty. And it is the Shine On Milky Lip Jelly in Coconut. This is 3.9 mil. Court Beauty sells this for 18 pounds, and they say, "Do you know how we? Do you know how we have an alternative milk for people who just can't bear cow's milk? This is the alternative lip gloss for people who just can't bear lip gloss. 100% vegan and made with plant-based ingredients that are actually good for your skin. 
Think apricot oil, avocado oil and raspberry seed oil. Not only does it supply your lips with a juicy shine and an eye-catching slick of vivid colour, but it also soothes and protects them. It's available in five shades. Now, this one is coconut. And they describe that as a semi-sheer milky mauve pink. So I'll show you what it looks like. It's, it wasn't what I expected when I looked at it. I don't know what I was expecting, but I expected to sort of get this off and then there'd be something at the top. I don't know why. It just looks like it wasn't going to be the that. I didn't think it was going to come out like that. Anyway, I have been wearing it for this video, but you know what? I think it's been slowly disappearing as I've been talking. I can, my lips don't feel quite as covered now as, as they did when I first started. So what I'm going to do is pause, pop it on again so you can see, and then see if you can see a difference. I'll be back in a sec. There you go. You can see it looks different now. I think it's when I talk, it all just comes off, doesn't it? So it might be better. I wonder if you just use it on top of another sort of lipstick, maybe. This is what it looks like on the back of my hand. There is a nice colour to it, isn't there? I do like it. Maybe if I just didn't talk and just sat there and didn't talk, it would be fine. Um, so that's the end of the box. I really like that box. I'm sorry it's still it's not available anymore, but it is probably worth looking at for some of the products. Obviously, the good old Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Happy to get that again. The Dr. Sturm one. I do think it's made a difference to that side of my face. Look, even my forehead's a bit shimmery, and I don't normally put anything on there that does that. So, yeah, that's quite interesting. Um, then we had the uh, brow product by Benefit. Always happy to get new products like that. They're not my sort of thing really though to be quite honest with you then we had the eye color by nude sticks which i think is that one and i like that i'm happy 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 to get that i'd be really really happy if i got one in the tin box with a pencil sharpener though um then we had the mascara which is lovely lovely mascara to use really happy with that actually surprisingly so the blush as well which I like that a lot. It's a gorgeous colour. I think it's done a nice job today. Then the highlighter, which is beautiful, beautiful packaging and a really nice highlighter, surprisingly, again, so for me, I thought that was going to be way too dark, but I think it's done a fab, fab job. And then the lip gloss, which when it first goes on, I really love it, so I'm just going to have to stop talking. now. <clears throat> that's it for the end of the box i like this box i think it was worth getting i've got i've ordered a few more there's another next box out at the moment that's got one of my favorite products in which is actually a lip liner and the lip liner that i'm hoping is in there is the same color as the one that i love hopefully because i've literally run out of that and it's like i've man manifested it again i keep doing this with certain things i wish i could manifest a nude sticks in a tin box with a with um the pencil sharp now that would be nice that appears in a box soon you're going to know something's up aren't you anyway i hope you enjoyed the video now one thing i must mention is I'm, i've had a bit of a mishap a bit of a mishap i wonder if you've seen i wonder if you've spotted it some of you out there probably have i know one person who might have spotted it i've had a bit of a hair mishap so someone kindly gave me some purple shampoo purple mask purple conditioner to do my hair to tone my hair slightly now i'm rubbish at hair i've told you this before <laughs> i'm rubbish at hair keep me away from hair um but i thought i'll give it a go you know it's perfectly fine it's not, nothing it wasn't like a color or anything like that it was just one of these wash out things and my hair's gone a funny colour. But the trouble is it's gone an uneven funny colour. So I've got bits of grey bobbing around in it up here somewhere. A bit of grey bobbing around in it there. And I did it straight earlier and I thought I can't, I can't have it straight. At least if it's curly, it might look a little bit like there's shadow going on. But no, it just looks grey to me. I, I have looked at what to do. So I think I know how to sort of start getting it right again. 
I don't know. So it is, it's, a, it's a learning lesson, let's face it. I've learned my lesson, don't mess with my hair. I'm not good with hair, leave it alone. Um, let other people who know what they're doing do things with colour, etc. So yeah, there you go. Just thought I'd let you know. Anyway, you got to laugh about it, haven't you really? Because there's nothing else to do. Well, apart from getting the something to make it better. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you come back for more. Like I say, there should be more soon. I've ordered that next box. I don't know whether I said that. And then I've ordered Debs the latest in beauty trending edit, the next volume, which I've ordered that one. And there is, there's a, a, I've seen a one from Debenhams, which I am going to put up on a post. Debenhams have got a beauty box, although it's a bit weird. They've got one for March and now they've got one for April, but the one for April has got some things in that were in the one for March. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. So I've ordered the April one. I'll try and remember to put a post up on that soon. I've got it all ready to go. It's just the time at the moment is flying away with me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you come back for more and I hope to see you soon. In the meantime, have a fabulous, fabulous week. I, I'm going to send you all the love in the world and all the positive vibes that I can possibly send you. And I hope you can manifest in your life some of the things you want. Take lots and lots of care. Bye-bye.